our customers are looking for convenience and ClickList fits right into play with that. And that goes right along with a new report that shows one in four Americans buy some groceries online and that trend will continue with seven out of 10 shoppers going online in the next decade. When we first launched ClickList, we were thinking maybe it's just the busy parents who are going to be using this service or the new moms and dads. But Sheila Lowry with Bakers tells me anyone who's busy is now buying online. Make it convenient and the customer will come. Lowry tells me the technology behind the ClickList app is driving the trend for the company. When I order bananas, I want five small green bananas because I want those to last. I can enter all of those comments in and they'll provide that for me. Technology with ClickList so also allows Kathy Sherman to shop for six online customers at so once. Four, she scans the tote, it tells one, her where to two, go. Section bay two, shelf one, item number two on shelf one. She then scans the items and the system makes sure the customer is getting exactly what they ordered. Then Kathy's off to the next aisle. After the order is complete, it's ready for the customer who just pulls into one of these stalls, calls the number on the sign and the groceries are brought to their car. Okay, it sounds simple and yeah. it is. So with online shopping so popular, it seems like these stores have really mastered keeping the customers out. Like, hey, just order from your phone, don't even come in. Yeah. So tomorrow on First News, hy is gonna show us how it's handling this growth of the online shoppers mm -hmm. who are not in their stores, trying to get them to come back inside the stores. Yeah, because typically that's when you start buying other things that you might, uh -huh. like me, not on your list. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Right.